Nobody likes them and you can't do much about them, but many of you are dealing with the annual invasion of the fish flies. They can cover your windows, your doors. They actually crunch under your feet. Local Forest Jamie Edmonds was the lucky one tasked with tracking down some of those fish flies today. So where'd you end up, Jamie? Hey there, Karen. I am in Gross Point where I have a story from yesterday. I tried to go to lunch here at Panera and they were covered all over these windows and walls. You had to pick them off when you walked in. Totally gross. But next door, you can get a better representation of what it's like here in Gross Point. So I came back to the scene of the crime and asked people how they're coping. You know it's fish fly season when you walk out to get in your car and this is what you find. Or how about you get in the car and this is what it looks like from the inside out. Oh, and getting gas? Forget about it. The submissions to the Local 4 Facebook page and Storm Pins app went on and on. And if you needed official word on their arrival, check out the radar. So many fish flies they showed up on weather radar last night. But for those who live near the water, it's a yearly occurrence. Patrick Garth lives in New Baltimore. He doesn't mind them really. Um, a nuisance with wings. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Katie Smith, she hates them. I came from the East Coast about 15 years ago, and I had never seen anything so truly horrific in my entire life. This year's worst year I've ever seen. It's the worst year. In the morning, they're about, I'd say, at least an inch, two inches thick. This gentleman has the task of sweeping them off walls and sidewalks outside of Farms Market in Gross Point. Talk about a stinky job. They stink. They're slimy. The good news, these fish flies that are sometimes referred to as mayflies only have a lifespan of 24 hours. The DNR says the more fish flies, the healthier the lakes. It also means more fish in the water. So suck it up, folks. They're only here briefly to invade our summer. And Garth tells me he will tolerate them, but he certainly won't celebrate them. I don't go to the fish fly festival. You don't want to celebrate them? Absolutely not. Now he is talking about the fish fly festival in New Baltimore. It's at the end of June. He does not go to it. He doesn't like them. I will say they're sort of transient. Like I said yesterday, they were all over the windows and doors. There's less of them today. And I will say this living close to the water now, I'm getting a little bit more used to. Ah! OK, not that used to it. That is not what I plan to do, Karen. But you do get used to them. They're only here for a little bit. And it does say that the water is healthier when this happens. The DNR also says it's later than usual. That Fish Fly Festival in June, well, it's July, right? And they're all here. It's because we had such a chilly June. Live in Gross Point, Jamie Edmonds, back to you. Jamie, were you just trying to like grab one of those? What was going on? What were you trying to prove? Yes, <laughs> I was. I was going to show you. Well, you I was going to show you one. Wow. Yeah. Truly horrific, like that they lady's don't hurt. hurt. They don't hurt. They're just gross. Now, is your hand all they're sticky? They're yucky, though. Yeah. Gross. All right. Yeah. Wash your hands. Thanks, Jamie. <laughs>